Hey everyone, it's Liz here at Blue and Hazel, and um, today I want to show you how to do a really fun um, experiment with your kids called the Invisible Ink. Um, and it's really super simple. I actually learned about this in our writing program. We're using uh, Partnership in Writing by Brave Writer. And so one of the projects that they have in there is an Invisible Ink um, letter that um, the kids can write out and send to somebody or just write out for fun. And it's so easy. It's um, basically what I'm gonna teach you to do is use lemon juice or lime juice that you squeeze. So um, I tried both and they work equally as well. You can see here, um, I've got this one in lemon juice and this one in lime juice. This is just on a watercolor paper. So you squeeze it out and you write your secret message um, with a toothpick, let it dry, and then we're going to use heat. I'm um, using my flat iron because I actually don't own an iron, like a clothes iron. And so this worked really well though, if you don't have a clothes iron. And um, as soon as the heat is applied, then the letters pop and um, turn brown. One thing I do wanna note is that I would be sure to get some thick paper, some really thick paper. Watercolor paper works really well, um, mainly because when you put the lemon juice on, it's going to kind of wrinkle paper if it's too thin. Uh, I don't know if you can see that, but um, this one I did on just, I think, 20 pound printer paper, really thin standard printer paper, and um, it kind of wrinkles up, first of all, and then second of all, um, it just doesn't show up as well. And I think partly it might get darker if you had an iron from like a clothes iron that you could press down really hard on, but it just, for some reason with this one, maybe it was too thin to really press, um, press down hard in between my iron, but it didn't really show up compared to, um, compared to the watercolor paper. So I would say no to printer paper and yes to thick watercolor paper for this project. All right, let's go ahead and see how easy it is to do. First, I went ahead and cut up a lemon and a lime. You really just need a tiny, tiny little bit. Half of one would be perfect. And um, then you can set those aside. And this right here is my lemon juice. And um, like I said, the lemon and the lime juice worked equally, uh, equally as well. So um, what you wanna do is take your toothpick, dip it in, and just getting a, enough to kind of make a line on the paper. So, um, you'll be able to see this as you write. And then you just kind of re-dip as needed. If you get too much of the lime or lemon juice, what you'll start to see is um, it can just start to wet the paper a little bit, but you're pretty safe with this thick paper. It's gonna be fine with a little bit more of the juice. Okay, so you can just re-dip as necessary and then, um, you know, pull it along. I feel like one dip is generally enough for one letter, but if you get more of the lime and lemon juice on, then it really is um, going to be a little bit darker. Okay, so we'll go ahead and let that sit and dry. It takes maybe, you know, five minutes, not super long, just till it soaks into the paper and um, air dries. And then I'll go ahead and show you what happens when I use the when I use the flat iron. Let's go ahead and take our secret message. You can see it dried pretty clear. Like if you were trying to actually see the message you could, but for the most part, it's pretty clear. So I don't have a hot iron for clothes. Um, so I'm gonna use my hair iron for this, which also gets really hot and it's nice cause I can squeeze it. And um, you can see how that worked over here on this one, it worked really well. Um, both lime juice and lemon juice worked equally as well, I think. And then it just didn't really pick up, it feels like, on the thin paper. And um, I'm not sure if that's because it's so thin that it just couldn't get in between the iron super well. Um, even when I you know, took a hot pad and squished it down, it didn't really seem to catch 
the color on that thin paper but did on the thick watercolor paper. So here's uh, here's how it works. You can see here. Put it down and you can just hold it on the paper for a little bit. And it's starting up there. Now, if you add more of the lemon juice or the lime juice to your letters, um, it's going to show up darker. Okay, so it did kind of darken up there, just needed a little bit more heat. So pretty easy, really fun, and um, it's also a cool science lesson that you can talk about um, why does that lemon juice turn dark? Um, when it dries, it's clear, and then as soon as the heat hits it, um, it's going to um, release the carbon and oxidize, and so um, then you get that darker color in there. If you enjoyed this video, I'd love it if you give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe for more homeschool videos and handicrafts and cool little projects like this. Um, if you do this and you want to tag me on Instagram, I'm blue.and.hazel over there. I'll put that in the description. But you should be able to do this invisible ink at home pretty quickly and all your kids can do it. They can even draw a little picture if they can't do the words. Um, and one last thing too, I want to say I used a toothpick for this, but some people also use a Q-tip that could work well or um, anything that, you know, you can dip in there and um, write with. So, all right, have fun.